यहाँ सिर्फ सिर्फ ट्रेड नहीं हुई है आइडियाज भी थे चाइना से कागज इधर ले आए इधर से कुछ उधर चला गया एंड आई वुड जस्ट लॉस वन वेयर सेट कर देयर वाज ओनली वन मेजर बैटल बिटवीन चाइनीज एंड मुस्लिम एंड दैट वाज ऑन द बैंक ऑफ रिवर तलास एंड लकीली इन दोस डेज मुस्लिम्स वन दैट under the command of hazrat zaid bin salah ever said generally was uske baad ek ajeeb sa faisla ho gaya chinese never advanced transaction in transaction and muslims took all the troubles ye fark pad gaya ab bhi hamara zindagi jo aakhri jo hai na aadhi saab bhi likh ke ho gaye padhi hai wo ab bhi The match is not better. Afghanistan is being taken as a wrong entity. Match उधर से आ रहा है. Those four states. वो तो वो पीछे ने कर्जेस्तान वो से. Till now, they are a silent wall camp. तो भी नहीं उठ रहा है. First time my student general was there, General Bilal Akbar. तो उसको I said. तो उसको मैंने बताया कि ये असल सपोर्ट है इस्लाम ये पीछे देखकर विस्तार है ये है नील के साहिल से लेके ताबहदे का असर एंड इफ यू कैन मनूअर अगर पाकिस्तान के मनूअर इट्स लाइक दी हेड ऑफ ए ड्रैगन ये ड्रैगन हेड है पाकिस्तान पीछे धा रहे हैं मगर अफगानिस्तान को नहीं ये इधर इधर है जहां से अमीर तमूर बालास उठा ना And the funniest thing is, uh, Nostradamus, when he said in his prophecy, and he was very close, very, very close, so he wrote four four lines. Ke from the the of Khorasan, ke rehne, us ko Khorasan ko greater Muhammadan empire. Okay. From the greater Muhammadan empire, mm -hmm. a master of Muhammadan law will be born. He will bring back the fury of Mongols to the world. Terror, 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 terror. Ye was ya. Are we expecting it? Maybe five, ten years more. I have already said that ye jangle to shuru ho jayenge abhi se. So on two, two thousand twenty three, when jangle idhar se shuru ho jayenge, usme ye jangle shuru ho jayenge very close. Alhamdulillah. I am of the view that. Um, October the three, to reach to reach uh, by the moon, because Allah says in the Quran, He gave us the moon, lita alamu ada the sinin wal hisab. So the system of time ordained by Allah is one in which the the moon is centrally located. So by the moon, I'm almost eighty-two. But by the sun, I'm just almost eighty. We are the same age. Yeah, that, that, that. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I am of the opinion. I am. I am of the opinion that despite all the badmashy things that Trump did, they did not trust him. There was a control power, and so while he was the president of the United States. We were spared the Great War. They did every single trick in the book, every dirty trick in the book, to get rid of him, including cheating in elections. And now they have their man in the Oval Office as president. And uh, he's a he's an old man; he's in his late seventies now. So they know that he can pass away. I came to the conclusion, and I would like to hear your response, that they're more likely than not to seek to spend the next four years constantly provoking Russia and China, deliberate provocation, to try to get the big war. The law of prophecy is prophesied, and it's there in the previous scriptures, and they need this war. To bring about the transition from Pax Americana to Pax Judaica, I'd like to hear your views. 
The there is only one sense of polity which suggests this could happen, and that is if these two powers cross lines and fight, and they have put another agent like Israel, like Iran, Israel, and they are part of this plan. So America thinks that everybody will be destroyed, and he will stay aside and will escape, and he will then rule the world single-handedly. This could be a part of their policy, but the thing is once. Once this, you see, uh, things start shooting and the sprinkles rise, will America survive? This is the problem. It cannot. They don't care for America. They don't need America anymore. They've used it enough. Yeah, this, this is what I think it will not survive. I think I would say most of the, uh, whenever I study the factors about American you see, destruction, they were not in buildings, they were in people. Always people came from other parts to America, settled down here, the great civilizations of Maya and all this. And then suddenly they found buildings there, everything was there, no, there was no person. So this is going to happen again. Very long before I wrote just one sentence, the one day somebody will come down the uh, up, uh, American, you see, place, and they would see some woman, you see, working on this uh, cloth with the stones, and you would say, what a barbarian, what a barbarian look of that mm -hmm. would be. Mm -hmm. They will again back, go back to the same world. You mm -hmm. see, this, this is what I can see. So and you also expect the Great War, the Malhama, soon? It's a war is a must. Mm -hmm. War is a must. It's a must. Even, even if we did not believe God, yeah, war is a must. Yes. The human history tells us why. Tell me one thing. I consider Israeli as the worst corrupt and silly people of Anath. The word we use is Jahili. On the contrary, we consider them the wisest people. <laughs> but their prophet says, Ke Now there is one law of history which can never, never be overruled. The law says the minority cannot rule majority for a long time. It, this rule has been eternal. This rule has never, never gone uh, overruled in the history. Now, they, they are a small man. If I were there, I would have taught them this lesson. A stupid people. Maybe you succeed for 50, 70, 80 years, but no more. You will be totally wiped out on earth, around you. Either you kill all the majority around you, or you deal with them to stay brotherly and be one of them. Otherwise you are bound to be eliminated, destroyed from this surface. This is history. This is Ibn Khaldun. This is Tonbi. This is not a hearsay. This is not an idea coming from it. We, we go through these rules. History is not a man. They say history repeats itself. Yes, it does. Because these are the rules. And Israel is going to see those. I, I have a suspicion that Toynbee had some help from above. <laughs> <laughs> I, have a, I have a number of questions to ask of you. Yes, welcome. Um, to hear your views. I don't know whether we'll ever get another chance to meet. Well, because the age is pretty good. The founder of Pakistan, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, had a different profile from Dr. Iqbal. Yeah. He was a, his profile was such that he was hailed as the ambassador of Hindu Muslim fraternity. Iqbal didn't have that profile. And this man who had this as the basis of his profile eventually had to part from it, maybe very sorrowfully. 
because he could not succeed and then he opted for Pakistan. I hold the view that perhaps because of all the turmoil attending the birth of Pakistan and his own illness, he omitted to do something which if he had done it would have been embedded in gold in history. That as soon as Pakistan was born, he should have addressed all of India, not just the government, and say to them, this was not our preference. Our preference was for the two people to live together in fraternity. The Hindu will live as a Hindu, and the Muslim will live as a Muslim, which is what the Khilafat movement wanted. And so we sorrowfully had to part from you. But we want to enter it into the record that this was not our preference. And if at any time, at any time, a door is opened for us to try to recover our preference, we would always be very happy to reciprocate. What do you say about that? It's very simple. The problem is not simply the days. The problem is about the traditions, about the past, about every single individual again standing against the same other individual, you see, in history. Again, we say that the Hindu culture, religion is not harmful. Basically, it's not a religion at all. It's a culture. If you look at the Hindu religion, it's a culture. It's not religion. Mm -hmm. We do not consider religion at all. Mm -hmm. If why doesn't the Hindu change his religion? The Muslim does change. Mm -hmm. Muslim women do change their, their religion, but not Hindus. Because it's such a strong culture of rights and other things. Every day they have a new part of their you see life work in their religion. Every day there is a new celebration, new function, new attitudes. So Hindu never ever leaves the religion. Mm -hmm. It was a miracle in the subcontinent. This was a miracle. Mm -hmm. I cannot appreciate less those great teachers who came. There, there was not a single Molvi in them. There was not a single Molvi. There was Ali bin Usman had married, there was Saja Abuddin Kesti had married, there were Fulguddin Ganjit Shakar, there were Bhaktiyar Kaki, they were all top mystics, you see. They came and God came with them in India. His Highness also came with them. And so we see what never happened in history before Muslims have ruled 750 years in Spain. And there is no residue left there. You see. No sign of Muslims left in Spain. But Muslims ruled only 350 years in India, and they are 60 crore Muslims. Can you imagine? So there, it's not easy to imagine what happened in India. India, in India came the real, pure, grand masters of religion and teachers. They are still ruling in India. I am not so much concerned. But what I'm trying to answer your question is, it's very simple. Muslim aaj tak zameen par mein aapko bata. Muslim naam se better am saaya ko niya. Aaj tak niya. When we were in Spain, we were the best possible, you see, in the amsaaya tree. Neighbors. Well, Turkey, neighbor Turkey, Turkey ab jahan jahan gya hai, usne behtareen amsaayon ki tarah raha hai. India, where Pakistan was a new rising, emerging power and, and very risky existence they were passing through. So they knew we are up against one five and they could eat up anything. Upper said in Kashmir, in Tadai age, man, they made Muslims of Pakistan very suspicious of their activities in the very beginning. Anyway, then politics of Nehru was behaving well. That was not, uh, you see, one or two people are doing it. But the, you, now the flow that is coming, it's a purely very possessive Indian 
who cannot accept anybody. But the corona, the corona has made a very big decision. Even they have come back to Allah and they have, they have come to the old set. Vidaya who believes in God, one God, does not believe in any other God. But that who believes in two Gods, believe in two thousand also. So, so Indians have at least thirty-three crore Gods. Unnoh unnoh Khuda ko bhi awaz de di is tar. Thirty-three crore Khuda ho ne zar de Khuda wala kaise reh sakta hai? Ye to bata wala. Then this time around during the COVID, they have actually referred back to Allah for support. They were asking support from everybody, and they also sought support from Allah. That, that, that's, that's another subject. <laughs> मोमेंट विन पाकिस्तान और इवन नाउ सेवेंटीर्स लेटर we were entering this into the record it is not relevant to us whether or not it is possible for the two people to come back and to live together fraternally that's not the most important point whether it is possible or not is not the point well, why it. should we desire that that's the basic question we can live like two countries like all other people live or even roman catholics and protestants have been living in england like this the reality why should we that is the reality, reality professor sahab the bitter reality is that pakistan is being cornered and you have about three or four years left if the big war takes place and the transition from pax americana to pax judaica cannot be affected while pakistan is a nuclear armed state there were three plans about pakistan plan 1 was to destroy it physically geographically and separate it uh second plan was to weak it with make it so weak that it could not survive sell its atomic installations get rid of it and the first plan failed in the days of general kyani and he kept the integrity of the country and the second plan will be inshallah uh, fa- failing miserably when the uh, imran khan is people go i don't have i don't share i don't share at all no no you don't need to i am telling my opinion. i don't share the optimistic view no no it's not optimistic yeah. it's I, not optimistic i am a pakistan is no problem to be very frank i am of the opinion pakistan uh uh is the same you are fighting this battle me and jan gary were together so i told him this this battle may be there but there will be a real opportunity to create a class of army to pass through this to we think we have to go for many wars again in future to ye this was a real opportunity every single soldier of our army will be a die hard veteran agar aap usko jang se guzar well let us hope and pray that something happen good for pakistan yes aap pakistan ke char saal mein baat karte ho na ye mera khayal ye hai मेरा ख्याल ये है कि ये आखिरी मुल्कों में से माय व्यू इज डिफरेंट बट आई हैव अ लिटिल डिफरेंस मेरा ख्याल है कि पाकिस्तान आखिरी मुल्कों में से होगा और ईसा के साथ खड़ा होगा और दैट विल बी द एंड आगे जाजू जो माजू ये सब कुछ मुका इंटरनेशनल पॉलिटिक्स इज माय सब्जेक्ट आई नो आई एम स्टडीइंग इंटरनेशनल पॉलिटिक्स फ्रॉम द कुरान So we have a different view on this. I mean, one thing, it's my problem. No? Yeah. I am uh, basically a student of every single human history. I have been there, Masha Allah. Masha Allah. Masha Allah. Masha Allah. Masha Allah. And philosophies and psychology. Masha Allah. Masha Allah. But you know, as I told yeah. you, the Israel cannot survive technically, historically. Pakistan's problem is, it's 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 never been a country. It is always a gateway. It's always a machinery way to live over here. That's why how we are living now, like machinery. 
Everybody is looting, pillaging, is plundering, they are happy. But we have one good hope, that this is an area which we call the crucible of the best minds. Crucible. Yes, this is I agree crucible. with that. I agree with that. Seven greatest, you see, people of the world live over I here. I agree with that. Yes. That's why I'm here. And if we expect a Messiah, if we can ever expect a war leader, it will be from this. That's why I'm here, Professor Sahab. You That's why I'm here. here. Yes. That's why I'm here, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, the next uh, scholarly. Uh, तो थोड़ी सी डिसअपॉइंटमेंट इसलिए होती है ये इंडियन के जो देख रहे हैं ना पाकिस्तान पर हमले मगर इंडियन के पाकिस्तान के हमलों में एक चीज ये नहीं देख रहे कि पाकिस्तान कुछ लोगों के लिए कुछ इन्हीं खौफनाक ताकतों के लिए मजबूरी भी है मगर पाकिस्तान इफ यू काट ऑफ तो चाइना से इनके रवाबत जो है बाहर के खत्म हो जाते रूस ने ये सबक सीख लिया है दैट वे रशिया इज बिकम ए गुड फ्रेंड ऑफ चाइना उसने ये सीख लिया कि ये पावर है उन लोगों को ये अगर मिलते हैं तो ये हमारा बेड़ा लग जाता है ये सीख लिया है रूस सो रूस इसलिए हमारे साथ आ रहा है अब देखो कि एशियाई प्रोजेक्ट में टर्की का आने का क्या बात है वो आके राइट मिडिल ईस्ट में बैठ गया उसके होते हुए कोई टूट भी नहीं सकता इसके मंदिर में फायदे नहीं और लकीली लकीली टर्की इज नेवर लॉस्ट विद यू बेस्ट Even in the weakest moments of his, their lives, I was a day I got here is now. I got Chinkale to better, and then I got Gallipoli to better, there are Damian to better, and even those histories will never be mentioned by British and their Americans. You see, the young one who put the Lamara in the way. Who is so afraid to cast them for the West that they still remember them, even today. On the battle of Mohawk, they pass a judgment. Mohawk was not lost; everything was lost. So, Prussian government said, "Let us go and see what happens." Istanbul, he said, "What are they doing?" Istanbul. Istanbul, they are going to kill him. 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 ये आप देख लेना कि मुसलमान और लक्समबर्ग पाकिस्तान एक हैसियत के नाम लक्समबर्ग इज ए गेट वे टू योर हर तरफ से रस्ते वाले गुजरते हैं वो लिए जाते हैं माल लिए जाते हैं आप चौधरी होंगे बैठे हुए घर से या जगह जगह सिर्फ चौधरी बैठे होंगे जो कागज दिए जाएंगे और पैसे क्या देंगे And once you have a strong people to defend their villages, you cannot be it. Cannot be it. Because desperation will be too high. Hazard to too high. That's why. But we are in the middle of the war. We know what's happening. There are some countries which must be there, whether they are good or bad. One of those countries is Pakistan. It's Quran. It's either good or bad. Whether it's good or bad. Whether it's good or bad. Whether people like it or not. It will stay. India too, Jaga into countries of states. Now again, I tell you, India के बारे में ये है right from three thousand years. This word which I just spoke, it is used for India. Countries of states. ये this is the word historians have used for three thousand years to state that what will happen to. If you just ask me without any involvement in politics. Not because I'm a Pakistani, I can understand that India will break down into countries of states. Why? That this has been reported to us throughout seven thousand, not more than even twelve thousand years history of India says that the Central India, whenever tries to increase its limits, breaks down under its own weights. ये वो जो ये पहले जो मैंने आपको द लॉज आई एम टेलिंग यू ये लॉज उस किस्म के हैं जैसे इसके कशिश है शकल होती है जैसे ग्रेविटी लॉज है जैसे क्वांटम के लॉज है ये नहीं टूट सकते ये कायनात ही है तो सेंट्रल इंडिया ऑलवेज ब्रेक्स डाउन अंडर इट्स ओन वेज वेन एवर इंडिया इवन इन द डेज ऑफ चंद्रगुप्त मरिया 
even in the days of Ashoka, even in the days of Mahayuddin Muhammad Aurangzeb Alamgi, the same thing happened. The moment they started expanding, the moment they started, they became more ambitious. The Mauryan Empire only stayed for 35 years, only. So India now is very mature to break down. Very, very mature. One more jerk, and then they will create at least seven to twelve countries in this. That's the way India can live with Pakistan also. Very lovingly, inshallah. Very lovingly. You know, you know uh, whether if you force them, this is a strange kind of religion. I have been a student of all religions, even the Russians, those who've been worshipping on his born deities of Kikimora, all this. But this religion was very strange. Twice it has come back to divinity and unity. The first trinity and the second trinity both were monotheistic, and then they turned into gods and goddesses. And now, now every third Hindu has a different god. Every third Hindu? Has a different god. Has a different god. <laughs> the well-counted gods are 33 crores. Yes. 33 crores. 3.3 billion. 33 million? 3.3 billion. Okay. So, I want to say that how did this come from? When I deliver elections, I say when you will reach the um, harbour of your grave, and when you reach over there and, um, and the angel will ask you, Mandra Boka. Maybe we are confused in one or two, but I wonder how Indian will be confused. <laughs> he will travel, he will take a long lesson. Shiva, Vijayu, Lakshmi, Durga, Sarsavati, oh my God, I, I just wonder. I wonder, what would they do? If this is true, if they will be questioned in the end, if they will be brought to grave, you see, and they will be asked two questions. How did you spend your life on earth? Then? You ate well, you drank well, you saw a few good movies, and now, you see, come back. Did you do my job? Mandrapa. And if he says, uh, probably somebody told me there is a God. Eh? That's not the story. At least, I go with Allah, who Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam never mark Afzalu Zikr La ilaha illallah. So that it should stay easy for us. I go make this be parading, eh? Afzalu Zikr La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. To come and come, we have points that we are the two, you know, those parading. To first, it's a nickel day. First, first, nickel day, I think, La ilaha illallah, yada, I go, Muhammad Rasulullah, we are the two. That's why it's easy for a Muslim to get it. Amal ki koi important. Allah ki Rasul ki hadith hai ki khuda niyat ko dekhta hai, amal ni dekhta hai. So, in kwa bhutayin ki hume yakin hai bhi achhi niyat wale do chaar musulman baat ki. Professor Saab says that we are very confident that there is at least a few or good Muslims still here. Oh, nobody disputes that. <laughs> well, this is a big day for us, I must say. If she, uh, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Maybe this idea about Pakistan is born out of our many worries. <coughs> about <coughs> We are very parallel history towards Cordova. Pakistan, if you want to compare it with anybody in the past, then it's a history of Cordova. Every next day a new body would come and say, the first one is all corrupt and I am the best. And they would come, they would change. But uh, always, you see, <coughs> you should compare this. The Muslims in Kaduva, what they not the new created country. They were the last, last remaining country. So they went out, Cordova went, there nothing, no, no defeat, nothing at all. What happened was, Kyunu Nikaki Devu. Ek likha gaya, 
معاہدہ اس معاہدے کے تحت وہ جہازوں پہ چڑھ کے وقت سے نہیں گئے سارے مسلمان دس بار کوئی مسلمان نہیں اسپین میں وہ لوگ جہاز کھڑے ہوئے تھے دے لیفٹ کارڈ ہوا ماؤنٹین ڈوز جو سی شپس اور وہ چلے گئے بلکہ آفٹر ورڈ مراکش میں اسپیشل جو سی محلہ واز کریٹیڈ اینڈ اٹ واز نون ایز انگلسیا اور ابھی بھی موجود ہے انگلسیا تو وہ ایک ڈائنگ اسٹیج کا آخری سانس اٹ واز اے لاس بریتھ آف دا ڈائنگ اسٹیج اور اتفاق سے وین ابو عبد لیفٹ کارڈ ہوا ہی اسٹوڈ ایٹ اے ماؤنٹ لک بیک اینڈ کرائٹ ہز وائف واز عائشہ اینڈ عائشہ ٹور ڈیٹ وائی آر یو کرائنگ لائک اے چائلڈ اوور دی لیونگ آف اے کنٹری اف یو کوڈ ناٹ سیو دیٹ کنٹری ود کریج وائی آر یو کرائنگ ایٹ دیٹ لائک اے وومن اس اس جگہ کو ہوتا ہے لاسٹ سائی آف موورس وہ ابھی بھی ہے ادھر لاسٹ سائی آف موورس کہ یہاں آخری آنے لی جائے پاکستان والوں کے پاس ایسا کوئی ٹیلا نہیں ہے وی ہیو نو سچ ماؤنٹ فیئر وچ کو گو اینڈ لاسٹ سائی ہمارے پاس نہیں وی ہیو ٹو لیو اور وی ہیو ٹو ڈائی ان شاء اللہ وی ہیو ڈائی ان شاء اللہ باقی دیکھے ابھی اب آپ دیکھو کیا ہوا ہسٹری میں ٹرن کیسے آتی ہے آئی جسٹ وانٹ ٹو فائنڈ آؤٹ وائن اٹ واز نون دیٹ دی ڈیفینسز آف اسرائیل آر ان پریگنیبل ڈی فنکشنز آف With one dollar's bit, you are destroying the entire city of Haifa and all this, with this. This is why the time changes, things come up, and even the most, you see, indefensible becomes defensible. And the most strong, and you see, if you are in Baruch-e Mushayyada, then you will not be able to do it. That's the way God moves. And you are a scholar of God, not of history. Mm-hmm. You are a student of Quran, inshallah ta'ala. Yes, I have spent mm-hmm. my scholarly life based on the Quran. Why don't you write it? I must say the thing is, the one thing I was impressed by, because you, you know and I know, that we have to change the alamat. The alamat? Alamat. The signs. Oh, the alamat, okay. Yeah. You see, in Quran and Hadith, the terms which are used by the Prophet, they, were, they belong to that day. And those alamats have to be changed now. Mm-hmm. So what do they mean in modern times, in modern technology? If somebody said there was a horse there, now it's a tank. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and this would be a very big job. This is an interpretation, yes. an interpretation of Quran. Alamat. Yes. Science you always have to be interpreting. Yeah. I have no problem with that. Yeah. You should write something about it. I spent all my life writing. <laughs> but particularly on these terms. I mean. yes. It is. Alhamdulillah. On these terms. I'm grateful to you. You've given us so much of your time this morning. Today. It's a pleasure to see you on. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, Inshallah, Allah, this is coming. I hope, uh, uh, how long you are here in Pakistan? I'm trying to get a flight after Eid, inshallah, back to London. Uh, but uh, I have unfinished work here. <laughs> so I want to return. Uh, Do you have a lecture somewhere? No public lecture. No no. I'll return in September, inshallah. Um, and uh, uh, I. I only want to teach how to recite the Qur'an or how to study the Qur'an. And if you are 18, and 19, and 20, and 21 years of age, the age of my grandson and granddaughter, I want to teach you. So that's the universities. I can't change the Darul law. So I leave them with No, no, there is no need to. Uh, but uh, you can do this, uh, provided uh, we can, uh, uh, you can set up a system. We can call it a system of studying Quran, a system of 
reciting Quran. They are exactly where they were 70 years ago when Pakistan was born. No change from the Darul, nothing. And they're using a methodology in which they intellectually sunk in concrete to offer opinions on subjects like money. When I asked Kazi Hussein Ahmad, who I found to be a very charming man, a learned man, did he say that? Mm -hmm. I sat down with him for one hour, first time, first of his. I realized he did not have a knowledge of international monetary economics. So I spent an hour explaining to him what is paper money, which is your Pakistani rupee. After one hour, he got up from his chair and standing and he said, Here to Dokai. Your Pakistani rupee is Dokai, it's bogus. And he's correct. I then said to him that Ghazi Sahib is haram. No, 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 no. I can't say it's haram, only Mufti Sahib can do it. Same thing with Dr. Israel Rahman. Oh, no, 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 only Mufti Sahib can do it. So let them remain. And I'm moving on. It's bogus, it's fraudulent, it's haram. The paper, then the plastic, then the electronic, then the crypto, then the bitcoins, and finally the one universal currency will be a rope around your neck. And Allah will not change your condition, even if you are Pakistan. Even if you are Pakistan, Allah will not change your condition until you wake up and start using His guidance to change your condition. I see no one in Pakistan, none, saying that we need to return to real money. The IMF will not allow you to do that. The IMF has banned it, it's haram. You cannot use real money. You have to use the bogus money. So I said, let me teach the young ones. <laughs> no, let me go to the brilliant. universities. We are very brilliant young people. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I teach the young ones, and I'll be very happy when I return in September. If I can meet with you again, it'll be an honor. Most awesome. yes. awesome. My, okay, one of the best scholars he studied in England, come back. He's very good at financial things, he, particularly on Bitcoin, sorry, Jonathan, Jonathan Khalid. I have no problem with the young ones, even when they, even when they differ with me. We are on the same wavelength. But I can't teach them all under the Mufti, sorry. I can't teach them. Yeah, this thing. Okay. <laughs> this thing. This thing. Those of say that this thing. <laughs> yeah. I, I read to my surprise, astonishment, that Iqbal said, this Ummah stopped thinking 500 years ago. <laughs> very likely so. And uh, the reason is very strange because we were all the time victorious. Fatah is a dangerous thing. It didn't let us, you see, remain attached to knowledgeability, learning, and arts and sciences. We were a proud nation. Bag, uh, what was her name? Yes. The famous most historian now is, she, she, she is a she says, for 1350 years, we never had a good news from Muslims. For 1350 years, Muslims were ruling. Wherever they went, they won. This continuous, you see, victorious line of their mind, you see, they made them slightly aberrated. They changed, they stopped learning. I have to enter a note of dissent, <laughs> respectfully so. Muslim rule over Spain, you must call a spade a spade, it was Islamic imperialism. And Muslim rule over India is not something I'm proud of. It's in Islamic imperialism. Yeah, it is, but this is my, I, this is my view, and I am, uh, I am not uh, uh, at all 
hesitant in declaring. Yeah, you, be, you may be a very, I must say, literally speaking, literal and practical Muslim. But there are other ways of expressing the Islamic idealism, and they may be the system of governments. Then, then, the system of governments. I tell you one simple thing: two of our caliphs were killed by Omar was killed and Ali was killed. Even Osman was killed. Three of the caliphs. Out of four, three were killed. And one of the best comment on the killing is. The time was not right for those those kinds of uh, livings and those kinds of kings and those kinds of caliphs. The time was Prophet was saved because Quran said, Wallahu Yasimu Kamina Nas, I'll save you from the people. So he did not care and he was saved. But our three uh were killed. And why? because they never defended themselves. It was a very complicated system then going on with the kings afterwards, and they should have taken care. Later, Umar admitted this to Muawiyah's governorship of uh, the Syria, that he can keep the guards over there. But they, he himself did not keep any guard for himself. That system was not supposed to run the world for ahead. So we came back to kingship or lordship. We came back. I have to share one more thing with you. <laughs> 600 years of Ottoman wars and the Orthodox Christians with bogus jihad. And the Ottomans did everything they could possibly do to ensure that the Orthodox Christian world would eternally hate Islam. <laughs> and so you may be right, but you know. Just allow me to speak, please. And the hatred for Islam in Greece, in Bulgaria, in Serbia, in Yugoslavia, in Russia, was indescribable. Up to now. Up to now, that hatred is there. From Islamic eschatology, I realized what the Ottomans were doing, sabotaging the end-time friendship and alliance between these two Ummas. One solitary person, now I'm not boasting, you boast of articles of your knowledge. I went to Russia, I went to Belgrade, I'm going to Greece soon, inshallah, and I reached out to the Ottoman to the Orthodox Christian world. And when I reached to them, what is the Islam that we have? It is an Islam in which there's a great war coming. And after that war there is a conquest of Constantinople. And our Prophet prays that army. And he prays the commander. And I said to them, my opinion is that we are conquering Constantinople so that we return Hagia Sophia to you. It was shameful, it was disgraceful, it was manifestly sinful for the Ottoman Empire to take a cathedral and convert it into to a To take a cathedral by force? To, to, to take a cathedral no, I guess I and was, transform it to a mosque. I just want one explanation I, from you. Did he take it by force? Well, he certainly did so. He certainly did so. He still, there is a written. Yeah. I, I, I have not come here. Still, you have read so much. Still, there here. is I a written wanted, document or there in, in which it was bought. Uh, yeah, this is it. Probably. I have great respect for your scholarship. Same here, same but I think I, have um, great for I think it's 600 years of the, art. That the Sultan bought the. That the Sultan bought the cathedral uh, is not something I could put as as no. Can we deny the documents? So I said to them, I believe we'll conquer Constantinople, and Erdogan cannot stop it, and Turkey cannot stop it, and Pakistan cannot stop it. 
And when we conquer Constantinople, we return Hagia Sophia to you. And By the that name, time, the name of the you city. know, one thing I tell you, when somebody becomes an old Muslim, it's not easy to change him. So if Hagia Sophia becomes a Muslim till all the state will not change again into Kofristan. I just wanted to enter it into record, not to debate with anyone. I'm not debating with anyone. I'm just entering into the record. This is my eschatology. And when I said this to them, and I've been saying to this them for a few years now, the response from Russia, the response from Greece, the response from the former Yugoslavia, the Balkan countries, is that the Muslims hate me. They despise me. Yes. And I don't care to pits about that. But the Orthodox Christian world is drawing closer and closer. They say, we never heard this Islam before. Why not? What has gone wrong in 600 years? You never heard this Islam before. The only Islam we heard was from Turkey. And so I am proud and I'm happy of the work I've done in the Orthodox Christian world. I'm confident that history will end with a, a friendship and alliance between these two people. And Turkey can't stop it and Pakistan can't stop it. I want to end this in the record. Yeah. I love it with you. May Allah, may Allah, may Allah guide us to the truth. Yes. I love it with you. It happens. I'm so sorry, we are sitting in Ramadan over here, can't help. This is the way all Muslims become alike. But if you are not fasting, you are not fasting. You are not fasting. It's difficult to fast while traveling. I, I've done, I never did it before. I, I was always at home for Ramadan, but this year I couldn't avoid it. So, and I'm also fasting and I'm teaching and I'm lecturing and I'm talking all through the day. It's difficult, yes. Ha, but uh, I think this is, you are very courageous, but sensitive also. Well, Sensitivity, uh, if takes you over, then the courage is lost. We see, that's a very strange combination of things. I have another part of my profile, which is unlike other scholars of Islam. Uh, my teacher would speak gently. He would speak politely. He would try not to engage in any abrasive discussions and so on. But when I get fed up, I'm teaching the subject of Gog and Gog from the Quran for 20, 25 years, and you're not prepared to listen. Then my words now come like thunder, and I don't care, two peanuts at all. This is a different profile. I didn't have this profile before, but I'm fed up. And they close the doors of the masjid. I said, go ahead. And it, you won't believe it, how many young people around the world now are listening to me. Must be. So let you shut, you shut the doors of the masjid. The young ones will come. So I'll teach them. With these, I'm soft, I'm gentle, I'm kind, I'm patient. Even when they, they differ with me, no problem. But with these, I'm like thunder now, because they are an obstacle in the way. So have you ever confronted them? <laughs> uh, I'll let you know what happened in a place called Bradford. 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 North of Britain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They um the Braille Jamat. And uh, they had agreed for me to come and give a lecture. And then uh, one week before the lecture, they said now we uh, not going to, we're not prepared to have the lecture unless you come and meet with our scholars. My response was number one, lecture cancelled. 
Number two, I'm coming. I think that answered the stabilizer. I went and waited. They never came. They never came. This, this is my experience with that. I'm not Brelvi, and I don't want to be Brelvi. I'm not Deo Bundy, and I don't want to be Deo. I don't speak disrespectfully of you, but I'm not a part of that sectarian divine. I identify myself as a Muslim. And if that's enough, if that's not enough for you, leave me and go, go your way and leave me alone. My teacher was like that. My teacher was like that. And I recognize in parting now because it's late. The Prophet said, Islam, and I learned this much of Urdu. He said, Meri Ummat Barish Janto Kya Pedi Barish Better Yep Akhri. So I said the last shower must have a scholarly component. It will have a military component, have a political and economic component, but it must have, it, it must have a last shower of scholarly rain. <coughs> and I don't see that coming from the Darul. <laughs> Allah has blessed me to travel extensively, and I, I have respect for my Arab brothers, but I don't see it coming from the Arab Alhamdulillah, brothers. But, but you must take care of your health also. Because it's a pretty delicate age now. I don't see the last shower of scholarly rain coming from the Arab world or from no, Turkey. No, no, nowhere, nowhere. From. Or from Turkey or from Southeast Asia. I lived in Malaysia or from Africa. Well, the main reason is they have never tried to. Yeah. I, I have come to the conclusion in my old age, and I can be wrong, of course, that the last shower of scholarly rain. And this is where I agree with you. It's coming from this part of the world. I won't say Pakistan. I say this region because the Indian Muslims. Yeah. Oh. Anywhere, anywhere, from anywhere who is a good Muslim. In this region of the world. And finally, even though we find mis mistakes committed by Dr. Iqbal, he still remains a towering scholar. I say that the last shower of scholarly rain is going to come from Iqbal because of his link with Rumi. And Rumi was calling for Basar, Basar, Basar in Masnavi. And Rumi came from Khidr. From those who came from Khidr, Rumi is one. From those who came from Rumi, Iqbal is one. And my teacher came from Iqbal. So I've inherited that that scholarly profile. And I say the last shower of rain is coming from this region and from the profile of Iqbal. Maybe? Inshallah. 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 Yes. Inshallah. Inshallah. Allah be with you. Allah be with you. Okay, yeah. thank you very much, Dr. Sahib. That Allah we have been able to spend so much time with you. It's a pleasure. Uh, I'm it's grateful pleasure. to you for the time you've given to us. Yeah. But well, I think it's, it's a good blessing in Ramadan. We have shared talk and uh, with very open heart and mind. <laughs> somewhere you have not trusted, somewhere where you have not believed. I think you've been for long. I've, I've known this statement of yours when I was in England. So you are very firm about uh, Pakistan and we stand on the other corner and we say, what, let anything happen, this state will stay. I am here because I believe there's a future. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Inshallah ta'ala al-Aziz. And uh, I've given you multiple time also. I, I don't talk like this. I've told everybody if before 2023 the world will come to start doing things. And now in Pakistan we can say after these people go and we might run back to Italy because it's a fascist on that style. Mm. So we will bring up some simple human beings who can run the show. Inshallah. 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 Thank you very much, Officer. Yes, sir.